Well, we bring you in after the uh, South African uh, squad has been announced for the Rugby World Cup 2023, and it's a very experienced squad we are looking at. And it'll be an interesting how they uh, have left uh, a lot of big players out of their squad that could really have brought them that different changes that are needed so far, losing to New Zealand and nearly losing to Argentina. But this this squad, I think, can win uh, this this World Cup. It's a it's a big one, and it's a tough team that has enough experience to probably out experience every other team. It's just about that X factor, which they have in a f- quite a decent amount of players uh, that can bring them that different style of rugby that. We've seen South Africa play. Uh, now to the, to the forwards here. Uh, Stephen Kitsoff was announced. Uh, Vincent Cock, uh, Franz Malherbert, uh, Ox Nish, uh, Trevor Nyakano. Uh, those are five props. It's New Zealand have gone with six. It's a it's a really strong lineup. We've got Franz Malherbert and Kitsoff who are the best props in the world around there at the moment and very experienced. Between those two, there's 135 caps altogether, which is a lot. And with the hookers, we have Bongi Mbanambi and Malcolm Marks. They, they've got 121 altogether. So they, they are, that's a, it's a really, uh, experienced uh, front row with some very different sort of playmakers. We've got Ox Niche and um, Cock who, who can come off the bench and bring that different sort of play and are really similar to the other two. Like they, they have the same, they're as good if not better than those those teams but now now we're going to um uh how they have only got two hookers only two hookers usually you bring three it's it's a lot less front rowers than you'd usually bring and i think they've shown that throughout the the loose forward pack and the locks that they've added a few extra players uh, in the locks even if to beth very experienced player john Klein, um Marvin Ori and Aji Snowman. Uh, well, we're looking at quite an experienced lock, tr- like few. Well, even it's be very experienced. But then we've got Snowman who will probably start. And then we've got Klein and Ori who are players that can have to come off, uh, who have to back up each other. It's going to be tough for them to work out how they play that. But they'll also have uh, Steph Detroit who can come into uh, lock. Uh, so for the loose forwards, we've got Steph Detroit, Big player anywhere he can play uh, in the four pack other than the front row. He's a very strong player. I see Khaleesi coming back from injury, but he's having quite... T- like physical training, so he should be ready for the World Cup when it comes. Uh, then we've got Quagga Smith, a very experienced player, but I don't know what whether he can bring that what they want. He's he does give away quite a lot of penalties, but he does have a lot of experience, well, decent amount in World Cups. Uh, then Vin Staden, a uh, new player coming into the lineup, he's he's made an impact. Vermeulen, very experience too this is this whole Ford pack is averaging 31 years of age and that's very experienced but maybe they've had them too long from the last World Cup it's pretty similar from 2019 but Vermeulen he's still as good as gold Jasper Wieser uh, Visa, he's brilliant at the moment showing they have those players they can use uh, then we have Mostert, who can play pretty much anywhere too. Uh, he's a he's experienced. He's very good. 
when he's on form. Forey, decent player coming into the team. We look back at uh, now the Fords on standby at the moment. It is uh, Lou Diaga. He's he's missed out on the squad. It's a massive miss because he's a player that can really bring physical impact and show that them what they can be capable of. And then we've got Thomas De Toits, another big player that missed out too. And then, so now the backs, it's a very interesting one here. They they mixed around their squad a lot, and it's made it really quite an interesting sort of squad. Could all go wrong, could all go right, who knows. So we've got Fuff de Klerk in a uh, scrum half. He's He can sort of play uh, number 10, but they'll probably keep him at 9. Then we've got Hendrix, uh, Raynak, Grant Williams. They're all quite inexperienced. They'll probably stick with Fuff de Klerk to start off with and probably bring Williams or maybe Raynak off the bench. be interesting how they do that, uh, keeping a interesting four halfbacks in their squad. They'll be... They won't matter if they get injuries in that department unless it's a big player like Fafti Clerk. Then we have uh, in uh, f- first five we have Manny Leboc, a new player on this on the scene. He's been very good, decent. Um, then we got Damon Williams, who play can play most places in the in the back line. Uh, be interesting to see how they keep that first five role because there's many players in there there's only two that can actually play first five but most of the team is pretty experienced to play anywhere that's that's the good thing about South Africa is they can play most of the players can play pretty much anywhere causing injuries not as much of a problem uh, one player we're missing very big player is Andre Pollard who's who's coming back from injury but he's he's not quite ready for this impact and he's going over with a team but I don't think he's playing so and this, he's not on the squad so it's a big miss for them I think that could be a massive moment that massive missed call and it could it could lose in the World Cup who knows but uh, then the centres, Damien Dialende, big player. He's he's been brilliant. Esther Huizen coming onto the scene, big impact for the South African team. Jesse Creel, he's actually in form at the moment. He's quite underrated at the, for South African team. Uh, and and a big player they're missing is Luciano Arm, and he's injured. But I I see a big but there is that. He could easily be, he's injured, but they've, they're not doing what they did with Barry Retallick for the All Blacks. they they let, not putting him in the squad. So if there's no injury, then they're not going to be able to bring him in. And he's a big player they're missing. It's interesting to see how that works. Missed at least three very crucial players in their squad. Here we have the, in the outside backs, Kurtley Arens. Chisling Colby, massive player. Willie LaRue, Makazoma, Pimpy, and Moody. So we'll probably see uh, Colby and Arens fighting for one of their wings as are pretty similar players. I think Chisling Colby, I'd take over Arens. Uh, Mapimpi, he's a big player. And Moody, they're both big and similar too. So those two, I think, will be swapping over for the wings. And then we have Willie LaRue, a player who's been missed out, uh, who's who's in the fullback. He's played every most games so far, but no other fullback. Most Some players can play fullback, but if Willie LaRue gets injured, who knows what will happen, how they can counter that. Um, so for the backs, uh, players on standby, Luciano Am. Uh, Andre Pollard and Herschel Yanchi, um, big players. They missed out, and big calls that could cause them not have. They've definitely got enough experience, but maybe it's that 
different sort of play from Arm and Pollard and Young Yankees. I've left out uh, Yankees' brother, um, Herschel Yankees' brother, um, out of the whole thing. And he's a massive player when it comes to finals. I remember him playing the Hurricanes. He really showed what he can do back 2016, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, thank you for listening in on this video. It's a decent one. Thank you.